بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاکف شاہ لیکچر فائنانس ایٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز کوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دا ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از بزنس فائنانس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ فار دس سبجیکٹ از بی ایس 151 دس از لیکچر نمبر 23 اینڈ دا ٹاپک فار ٹو ڈیز ڈسکشن از ایکسپیکٹڈ ریٹرن اینڈ اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشن آف a portfolio of investment and its calculation. Basically, this lecture is in continuity to my previous lecture number 22nd, where we have elaborated the formulae used for calculating the expected return and standard deviation of a portfolio. Along with that, we have also discussed the covariance importance in a portfolio construction and as well as the correlation coefficient discussion so in this lecture we will take a practical example to calculate expected return and standard deviation of a two stock portfolio by using those formulae so i strongly urge and recommend to the listener of this lecture to go through from lecture number 22nd before listening to this lecture The outline of this lecture comprises of the expected return of a portfolio of stock calculation, the calculation of the standard deviation or risk of a portfolio of stock, and a numerical case measuring above 2 for a portfolio. Basically, this is the formula to calculate the portfolio expected return which we have covered in lecture number 22nd. So I once again recommend you in order to know the particular detail regarding the formula of calculating portfolio expected return, just go through and listen to lecture number 22nd. However, this represents that return, expected return of the portfolio is equal to the summation start from J is equal to 1 up to the M. And along with that weighted average of the expected return of the relevant security. And this was the formula what I have explained in my previous lecture and its component. The double summation represents the sum across the rows and as well as columns all the elements within a square matrix which we will discuss in this lecture shortly. And then we have discussed the covariance and its importance for a portfolio construction where the portfolio manager is interested to select those stocks which are not perfectly positive covariated or the covariance is not positive um, uh, between, do, between two stocks. Similarly, the portfolio manager is not interested to select the stocks which have perfect positive correlation coefficient. Here is the example and the focus agenda of this lecture to calculate the portfolio risk and expected return. Let us take an example. Suppose you are creating a portfolio of stock D. You are taking, uh, you are creating a portfolio of stock D and stock basket wander BW. You are investing $2,000 in stock basket wander and $3,000 in stock D. So as a whole, total amount of your investment is $5,000. The next statement says that remember that the expected return and standard deviation of the stock basket wander is 9% and 13.15% respectively. It means that the first stock expected return which is basket wander is 9%. However, its standard deviation is 13.15% respectively. Similarly, the data says the expected return and standard deviation of the second stock which is the stock D is 8% and 10.65% respectively. So 8% is the expected return of stock D 
and 10.65 is the standard deviation or risk involved in stock D. Next, the data says the correlation coefficient between basket wonders and stock D is 0.75. It means these two stocks are not perfect positively correlated. Therefore, the portfolio manager can include these two stocks for making a two stock portfolio. And the question asks us what is the expected return and standard deviation of this portfolio? Since the question is asking us to make portfolio of two stocks named as stock D and stock basket wonder and the relevant pertinent data has been given to us in, in a very nice and clear fashion. So what is the formula for calculating expected return of the portfolio? It was very simple. It was the sum of the weighted uh, sum of the weighted multiplicative of the um, sum of the multiplicative of the expected return uh, of the relevant portfolio or the stock as mentioned before you like uh, the expected return of the portfolio is equal to the weight of first stock how much amount you are going to invest in the stock basket wonder and what was its expected return it, it needs to be multiplied with each other and then the second stocks weighted expected return weight of the second stock and then the expected return of stock D how to calculate this weight the total amount of investment was 5000 and the amount what the investor was looking to invest in basket wonder share was $2000 so simply divide 2000 by 5000 and you will get the weighted amount you have invested in stock first and similarly the $3000 was $3000 were invested in stock D whole divided by the total amount of investment will give us 0 0.60. It means that 40% of the total investment has been invested in the stock of basket wonder and 60% of the amount of the investor has been invested in the stock of D. So since we have received the weight, therefore the data available in the question uh, related with the expected return was already there so now we are in a position to plug in the data in the relevant position like 40 percent of the weight of basket wonder and its expected return was nine percent similarly the weight of stock d is 60 percent and the expected return of the stock d as mentioned in the question was eight percent so with the help of simple mathematical calculation, we come up with the expected return of the portfolio is 8.4%. This is the weighted expected return of two stock portfolio. Now we shall discuss the standard deviation calculation of two stock portfolio. So the mechanism is to, for two asset portfolios, standard deviation calculation is to make a 2 into 2 matrix. Since we have two stocks, therefore the M value is 2 with S and the matrix says the possible number of combination of these two stocks. So the way the method to calculate the possible number of uh, combination of two stocks is to take the square of M. So therefore square of both sides says there could be four different possible number of combinations in order to make portfolio of this BW and stock D. This is the formula for calculation of standard deviation of the portfolio and double sign once again says to add all these uh, all the rows and columns across all the elements within a square matrix this is a square matrix the column one says that to find out 
the covariance of basket wander with itself this is the first combination and this sample sigma subscript b comma b represents the covariance of basket wander with itself this sigma j and k is uh, was our initial formula which we have covered in lecture number 22nd but here we we are required to change it with bw and this standard deviation as well with the bw so basically this is a covariance formula or the samples and in order to calculate this covariance we can use this formula here the standard deviation of the basket wander was 13.5 percent so therefore we are going to multiply 13.5 percent two time over here and then we also know that the correlation coefficient which is r into jk here uh, in the first combination there are no two different stock rather we are calculating the correlation or covariance of basket wander with itself so therefore it is actually a weighted variance of basket wander stock and the correlation of stock with itself is usually one so therefore after multiplying or incorporating this data you can get the covariance of basket wander with itself and similarly diagonally if we move in the right last corner the weight of stock d has been multiplied twice with itself and once again the covariance of this combination is with itself so here once again you are required to multiply or find this covariance with the help of this formula but here you are required to use use the standard deviation of stock d two times and then the correlation between stock d with itself will definitely be one this is the way how you can calculate these two values and these two diagonal values are known as weighted variances of stock with itself however if we look at the second combination which is uh, the combination of stock basket wander with the stock d this is weight of stock uh, weight of weight weight of investment in the basket wander stock and this wd represents the weight of investment in stock d similarly here you are going to calculate covariance of basket wander and stock d with itself therefore you are going to use different standard deviations to calculate covariance of stock basket wander and stock d so the first standard deviation represents will be the stock basket wander which is 13.5 percent then multiply it with the standard deviation of the second stock which is stock d and the value for the stock d standard deviation was 10.65 percent as mentioned over here and then multiply with the correlation coefficient so once again the question told us that the correlation coefficient between basket wander and stock d is 0 0.75 so in order to calculate this section or this column number two and row number first combination we are going to use first stock standard deviation second stock standard deviation and then multiply the relevant coefficient uh, relevant correlation coefficient with these two standard deviation in order to get the covariances weighted covariances covariance this is the last combination where the stock d has been combined with the stock basket wander so therefore you can use the weight of d and weight of basket wander and then similarly you are going to calculate the covariance between stock d and stock basket wander by using the above formula which has already been explained in my previous lecture as well so basically such kind of matrix is known as 
the various covariance matrix for two asset portfolio. The variances represented by the first and the last diagonal values since these are weighted variances and the other two variances are known as the covariances since there are two stocks involved and the covariances have been calculated with the help of weighted multiplications. This matrix represents the substitution of the data into the matrix. The weight of basket wonder was 40% and it was multiplied with itself and this value has been come up by utilizing the covariance formula written over here. Similarly, the last diagonal matrix was the stock D with itself calculation which was the weighted variance. The weight of stock D was 60% multiply, multiply by 60% once again and once again this value was calculated using the formula of covariance. In the same fashion, column 2 represents the weight of basket wander multiplied by with weight of stock D since this is a portfolio or second combination and then this section represents the calculation of covariance with the help of this left hand side covariance formula. After simple multiplication of the values with each other, we arrived on this final matrix. This represents the actual values in the various covariance matrix. Now the step come to accumulate all the rows and columns. This since this is the formula used to calculate the um, standard deviation of a portfolio where the double summation sign is asking us to add up all these four values available in the matrix combination. So let us uh, sum all these values, uh, rows and columns needs to be summed up and then a square root will results are, uh, will give us the standard deviation of the portfolio of two stocks. So in the next step, we are going to add or sum up all these values according to this formula. Since we have 0 0.00252 times as in the matrix, we can see that this value is available two times. Therefore, we can simply multiply 0 0.0025 with 2 as done in this example. And then we can copy and paste the matrix value under the root of the standard deviation of portfolio formula. After simple mathematical calculation to take the square root of the resultant sum up value, we have arrived at the final conclusion that the standard deviation of this portfolio of two stock is 10.991%. So this is the way how you can calculate the standard deviation of portfolio of two stocks. You can also calculate the standard deviation of portfolio of three, four and so forth stock with the help of matrix uh, techniques where we will have not only the weighted variances but as well as the weighted covariances which is a sophisticated and little bit complex techniques to find out the the uh, standard deviation which is a measure of risk of uh, a portfolio or a stock. Let us uh, summarize our discussion on this risk and return chapter and portfolio construction. So in the examples we were given data regarding the two stocks, stock of basket wonder and stock D. The return available are offered on a realized expected return realized on the basket wonders stock was 9% as in available in the data and the stock D was 8% and we have calculated the portfolios return as well and the portfolio return come up with 8.64%. 
Similarly, the standard deviation, which is a measure of risk, the risk factor involved in the stock of Basket Wonder was 13.15%. However, the risk factor involved in stock of D was 10.65%. We can see that the combination of both stock has actually come up with the risk factor of 10.91%. But since the standard deviation is not a relative measure of risks, therefore we move towards coefficient of variation to find out if the portfolio construction has actually met the aim and objective of portfolio or not. And when the coefficient of variation is less than the individual coefficient of variation of stock D and B basket wonder, then we can conclude that the portfolio construction relative measure of risk is quite favorable. Therefore, the combination of these two stock will give the maximum per unit increase in the expected return of the portfolio with respect to risk involved. Therefore, we can see that the coefficient of variation of basket wonder is 1.46. It means that if there is an increase of one unit in the expected return of this stock, there will be corresponding 1.46 unit increase in the risk factor. Similarly, if there is one unit increase in the expected return of stock D, there will be corresponding 1.46. 3, 3 units of increase in the risk factor of stock D. However, we can see that after making a good portfolio of two stocks, we have 1.26 of coefficient of variation. It means that if there is increase in the expected return of a portfolio by one unit, there is a corresponding 1.26 factor risk we are bearing while investing in the portfolio by uh, investing 40% in basket wonder and 60% in stock D as per the questions data. Therefore, the portfolio has the lowest coefficient of variation due to diversification. And the diversification means to include uh, not perfectly positively correlated stocks in the portfolio. And this diversification has actually minimized the investors or the financial managers overall risk factor. So this was all about how to calculate the expected return of a portfolio consisting of two stocks and as well as the standard deviation of such portfolio. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. If you have any question, feel free to post them on KCMS or Email me on my registered email and I'll be happy to answer your question. Good luck for the day. Allah Hafiz.